open the box, you will see the menu, the host, and a power adapter, then the pages, power plug, and antenna. The main body shell is integrally formed with smooth lines, an overall appearance, and with LCD display and longer life buttons. Four nine slip mats on the bottom, one antenna port and a power connector on the back of the fuselage. Align the antenna connector with the host antenna interface and turn it clockwise. Connect the power plug to the power adapter. Insert the DC power connector into the host power socket, then connect the AC power plug to the power source. At the same time, the LCD screen lights up and the unit is working. The pager LED light bar upwards and the charging pins downwards. Then insert the pager into the charging slot of the host correctly. At this moment, the LED light bar at the top of the pager will light up red. That means it's charging. In turn, insert the pager into the host slot. You will see the status when charging. Take out the pager, the LED light bar flashes blue light. Remove the transparent cover. The left side is the pairing key and the right side is the mode key. LED indicator is blue, then press the same number as the pager on the host. Next, press the call key. At this time, we'll hear a beep, indicating successful pairing. After the pre-pairing is successful, press the same number as the pager on the host, and then the pager will issue a prompt, including vibration and buzzer, vibration and buzzer. You can change the prompt mode of the receiver by the mode key. When the pager is ringing, Short press the power button and turn off. When pager card is ringing, it can also be closed by inserting it into the charging slot. When the pager is in a charging state, the host call the corresponding pager number, and then the pager's LED will flash its blue. When in a charging state, firstly press 999, then press call key to make a